It's a great set which includes a little sample of quite a lot of different sets that they've already made. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and I'm going to be having a close look at this particular mini art kit. It's a 135th scale field workshop and I quite like this one because it's actually a culmination of quite a few of the uh, accessories they've already made and they've given you small examples of each to make this huge workshop diorama. So even if you just buy this for individual bits and pieces to put in your space box for various dioramas, it's really good value. Or if you want to do a really big maintenance scene, you get everything you'll ever need in one of these boxes. Okay, so let's have a look at the box itself. So from the overhead there, you can see you've got the artwork there showing quite a few different things. You've got uh, hand tools, you've got the working benches, uh, gas torch bottles, gas torches, you've got chairs, saws, um, jerry cans, absolutely everything you need. Okay, so on the side here, gives you a little indication of the other things that they also make. So that's the petrol cans and such, and some of those have been used in this kit itself. So if we open it up, we'll see what is included. Okay, so in a pretty standard mini, mini art grey plastic, you've got quite a lot of different sprues there. This section here, you've got an envelope that'll be for all the photo wish fine parts. And then we've got a basic manual there for all the parts that need to be assembled. Okay, so let's have a closer look at what we've got in this bag of bits. All right, so how about I pull this out? All right, so some of these parts have all been rubber banded together. So let me just get off the rubber band and start looking at some of these bits. All right, so we've got some jerry cans. So you've got German jerry cans here. you got standard jerry cans. Actually, it's a bit hard to see, isn't it? Let's zoom it in a bit. And just focus. Okay, that's better. Okay, so you can see all the jerry cans. They've got the very nice sharp designs on the side. You can see the, the pressings for the uh, reinforcement. The triangular shaped oil cans there as well. They're included. Over here we've got uh, a sheet of decals. So these will be for the jerry cans. So you put the white stripes on them if it was for water. And there's the, the oil markings there in yellow. What a nice touch. Okay, over here we've got two sprues. And they're for the uh, oil barrels. Now the German oil barrels are quite ingenious in that they used a uh, quite a large metal ring around each side. So when they'll, uh, well, you'll have them sitting there so they wouldn't roll away. When you need to move them, you just pop them on their side and they'll roll along these like a rail. So they're easy to move around. Okay, so we've got two of those. Over here, let's get rid of this rubber band. We've got the buckets, which everyone needs. Got a square looking bucket. And then you've got uh, a curved bucket. That's the base of the bucket there that just glues into the inside of there. The handles aren't included. I'd say the handles are probably going to be a photo wedge part. Okay, over here we've got the ladders. Okay, so you get ladder A frames here. So a sprue here, they'll just be chopped off and you'll leave all these uh, sections there. This part I'm not too sure about. This could be the top of the ladder. It just spreads across. Quite a possibility. So it's one of those. Over here we've got the toolbox. The toolbox is really nice actually. So you've got, this is the side profile with the compartments all opened up. So you can imagine those, those toolboxes that close in like this and then open out. So this one here. So there's a the bottom section. See over here how it's all open up with its compartments. So after you build it, you can actually fill that up full of tools. So there's quite a few photo etched tools and plastic model tools that can go in there. You can see the plastic model tools there. So there's some pliers, so small pliers, big pliers, uh, looks like a bit of a screwdriver, and then a hammer as well, and they'll just sit inside. All right, from there, we've got this framework. So this is for the, uh, the acetylene torch, I guess, for the gas canisters. You got the big metal wheels. So to see the shape there, where the tank will be sitting up here, and there's the handles for moving it. All right, then you get some longer 
sprues. So this one here has got uh, uh, some hand tools. Got this big massive wrench here, which is quite often used for tanks. Big nuts. Got an anvil there in multiple pieces. Vice. A hand drill. Multiple hammers. You see this uh, axe here. Uh, big mallet. There's a box of some kind. Oh, there's an old school sort of toolbox as well. So these ends would be glued onto there. So it just has a handle in the center. Uh, and then various other tools too. I'm not too sure what all of them are, but oh, that's a plane. That's a wood plane. That looks like a uh, spray gun. And there's a vice right there. And there's a hand piece for a saw. So the saw blade's probably going to be photo etched. Okay, then you got these boxes. Boxes are always handy. So this one here looks like a, an ammo type box. You got the ends here with the uh, the holding handles. Quite nice. Okay, so that's the first lot of sprue, and then we've got a second lot of sprue. Okay, so again, these are all held together with rubber bands. So let me just take those off. All right, so we've got this. This is a chair. Well, you can't have a workshop without a chair. We've got chairs and a stool as well. You've got to stay comfortable when you're fixing a big tank. Over here, there's another chair, so you get two. Uh, what have we got here? So these are the ends of the um, petrol barrels before. And they've actually got writing on them in German, so for the petrol. You've got the hand um, crank pump there, so that'll be uh, dropped into the, uh, the barrel to draw up the uh, the fuel. Really good. Okay, so it goes there. Over here we've got a few uh, more bits for jerry can. Okay, so actually you've got two parts there to make up the jerry can. Okay, so you get two halves. Actually, they're the same, so they must match up with the other bits of a jerry can we saw before. Okay, so you've got the caps and then you've got the handles there as well, the three grip handles. Okay, so there we've got the workbench. So that's one workbench, and then there's another one. Okay, so you get two workbenches. See, it's got wood grain in it already and a few marks from damage. Right over here we have I don't know they look like some sort of pump that looks like some sort of crank not sure what that is pump system jacks don't know we'll find out in the manual I guess so you got a section on that and then you got some of these bigger sprues okay so you got your um, gas tanks acetylene tanks for your welding. Got all the gauges on this side, so really fine small details. Really quite nice. And there's another sheet of the same thing. Okay, so there are all the plastic parts. So let's have a look at this magical envelope here. Alright, so what do we have in here? Alright, so there are the tools on the photo wedge. Okay, so from this side you can see all the various um, spanners. Let's see if I can zoom that in so it's a bit easier to see. Oh, get that focus, there we go. How's that? Okay, so you've got all your different spanners there. So these are things that you can sort of cut out and drop into uh, the toolbox we were looking at before. You've got your curve spanners as well. you got your big nut wrenches. That thing here, I'm not too sure about. Got all these various bits and pieces. I don't know what they all do. These are the doors to the toolbox. Got a section of chain. There's a big blade for the double handed saw. There's actually saw teeth detail there. Uh, there'll be a handle for one of the buckets. The other handle is just on this side here, this angled handle. And then you've got the inserts here for the sealing of the 
Um, Jerry cans. Oh, I know what that is now. So that's the other saw. So that's a regular one-handed hand saw blade. There'll be some fine teeth on that section. There's holes in the end, so that's where you normally hang it up in your workspace. There's some other bits and pieces I'm not too sure about, but we'll be looking at the manual shortly. Okay, so that's the photo which parts. Let's pull that back in here. Keep it safe. All right, let's look at the manual. So the manual is quite simple. We'll zoom that out a bit so we can get all of this in. There we go. Just get that focused. Okay. Alright, so we've got the legend of all the parts. So you can see all the different sprues that have already gone through the photo wedge and also the decals. First bit you do is this is building up the drums. And then over here we have oh these were um, stand up jacks. You got the toolbox, uh, spray paint or blow torch, then your buckets, anvil and halves, your triangular oil container. There's your ladder, so that part was for the top of the ladder there. You got your jerry cans, multiple pieces. You also got those that piece for the latch for the jerry can um, funnel cap. There's a wood plane, double handed saw. Oh, look at that. So there's a uh, hacksaw there as well. One handed saw. Uh, there's the uh, container trolley for the tanks. You can see them going on here, and there's a section of chain that holds all the tanks together. You've got a couple of your boxes going together and you've got your paint chart okay so you've got them all together here with all the paint codes and all the numbers of which item each one was quite a bit of work there but all these little small details add to your diorama oh there's more bits here okay so we've got the the bench vise you've got a uh, a hand crank jack uh, this must be a foot jack you got your chairs, your stool, your tables, all of your um, oxygen tanks, uh, another box there, uh, electrode box, and then you've got the toolbox, and that's my favourite part. So that's got all the um, you build it closed or open. Open obviously is more um, interesting because you've got all the tools you can lay out wherever you like. So that's it. That is the mini art. Hold that up. Can't see much there. But that's the Mini Art um, Field Workshop kit. And it's a great set, which includes a little sample of quite a lot of different sets that they've already made. Uh, obviously, if you want extras of a particular one, you can get that specific one, but that's a good starting point. So that's the Mini Art Field Workshop. <laughs>